now let's take a look at the number two most important sensor in, in this list is going to be fuel pressure. Right, so fuel pressure, again, very critical when you're looking at the tune-up. Is my car, you know, is it performing the way I thought it should be? Whether it's carburetor fuel pressure, if you're monitoring that at the regulator, or if it's in a blown application where we're looking at pump pressure and trying to determine if our fuel pump is delivering the proper amount of fuel. You can tune your car, you know, looking at, the, uh, looking at a variety of things, but ultimately there's only two things that are going to make power. That's air and fuel, so we need to make sure that we have enough fuel in the engine to do the job. You know, there's something I saw a number of years ago in data. We were at a track somewhere, and the guy had blown the motor up, and it had blown up like on the third or fourth qualifying run. And what was really interesting was the fuel pressure. You could actually see the vibration of the motor through the fuel pressure. We're not seeing use fuel pressure uh, sensor for this purpose, but you could see where something was going away in the run, and the first run you could see the fuel pressure numbers start shaking, going up and down and up and down. Well, the second run it got worse, third run it got worse. So one of the takeaways from this conversation is all of these sensors, while they provide basic information, they're also clues to other things. Mm -hmm. And you need to look at all this data every time you make a run. Absolutely.